Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Katy Perry tutorial for you. I haven't done a look by Katy Perry in a long time and this is her, this is how we do music video makeup look, which came out a long time ago, but I did not do a video for that. I did one for her cover girl look and all of the advertisements. Um, but this is a really exciting video because I'm doing it with my friend Lacey Nicole here on YouTube and she is so good at makeup. I just found her through another friend, Sarah Jones, and um, I cannot believe how good she is at doing makeup. And I messaged her and I was like, we need to collaborate because I really think my subscribers would love you and I think you're going to love her. She's so good at makeup. Her tutorials are just phenomenal. And she's doing an Ariana Grande makeup look, which I know you guys really love. So definitely click right here. It'll link you directly to her video to check out her video and make sure to subscribe to her channel. Let her know I sent you. She's just super gorgeous, super nice. You're going to totally love her. So make sure to check her out. I have all the details for the products that I use in this video below. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below for me. And let's go ahead and get to this look. But you're always doing something. Right now? What? Just generally? No, I've got so much going on. I feel like I should interrogate you about something. Don't interrogate me about what? We should do the boyfriend tag. Uh, yeah, we should. Hey guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna start out with is my NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray just to help mattify my face. And then I'm gonna be using the new Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. It's normal to oily skin, so you don't wanna really use this if you have dry skin. It might stick to patches and things on there. My shade is 125 Nude Beige. And I will tell you, not only do I like this better than the original Fit Me Foundation, I love this foundation overall. This is one of my favorite foundations I have tried in a really long time. I've actually been wearing this every single day and it's perfect for Katy Perry's matte look in the This Is How We Do music video. I did add a little bit more coverage in my T-zone there as well. And then I'm gonna use my Maybelline Definer Brow in medium brown and I didn't really wanna show very much of this because you guys know how I do this. It's the same every time and it's really boring. I'm using my NYX Love in Paris palette in Parisian chic just taking kind of a gray brown and she has a really deep cut crease But I wanted to soften that I didn't want it to be so harsh So I did soften that with just a fluffy blending brush through the crease and then the really fun part So I'm taking my NYX um, Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in milk or you can use any kind of white cream color base You could use a white eyeliner here and you're just putting that all the, over the lid up to that brown crease that we did and then you're going to pat it out with your finger try not to brush because we want it to still be really bright and vibrant white white and we don't want it to get to like muted and like beigey looking so I'm kind of patting that out with my finger just blending it out and then I'm using my max mix my MAC, sorry, mixing medium with one of my new Milani eyeshadows. I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow. It's called Bella Rouge and it's a metallic and it's bright pink and Katy Perry's look here is so stinking cool. She's got kind of a white base on her lid with that cut crease and then she has a bright pink eyeliner and over top of that she has a gel or liquid black eyeliner that looks really cool. So what I did here is just wing it out. You want to wing it out as far as you want. I winged it out pretty much to where Katy Perry's is and I'm kind of just dipping it back in that eyeshadow. I didn't need to use any more mixing medium. I got my brush nice and wet. You can also use water if you don't have mixing medium. That's totally fine. And then I did go back and just put a little bit more shadow on just to darken it a little bit and make it really metallic looking. And then I'm going to take just the white shadow from this NYX palette and just set that NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. And I'm really sorry that this cut out, but I used my Gorgeous Cosmetics Black Liquid Liner to draw the black liner. I did not realize that the camera completely shut off, but you'll get to see how it ended up on my eye there. You can see I just kind of did it so that you can still see the pink through and wing it out just along that same line. And then I used my new mascara from Rimmel. It's the Scandalized Rockin' Curves in Black, which I really, really love. It's a really good one. And I used a combo of two concealers because they did not have the middle shade when I went to um, the drugstore and got these and I kind of like this combination. It's fair and sand, uh, and sand, sorry, in the Maybelline Fit Me. And I just kind of do three dots of each down um, my the center of my face to highlight and then under my eyes to conceal dark circles and highlight there as well. And I'm just using a Real Techniques kind of small concealer synthetic brush for that. 
And then I'm also going to be using one of my favorite bronzers right now. I've kind of gone back to using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. It's so good and Katy Perry doesn't have much of a contour, but it's really defined. And so I kind of defined it back towards the cheekbones and the hollow of my cheeks, up my temples, and then I did blend it down under my jawline as well. And then I used a really bright blush from MAC. I love this color, but you want to have a really light hand with it. It is a shimmer color and it's called Dolly mix and it's just such a pretty doll like blush and she kind of has that pink doll flush on her cheeks and then the lips get a little complicated because I used four different products um, I don't do that very often but I think I think this gave us a really good look so I used my NYX retractable lip liner in pretty in pink filled in my lips with that and then I took Mac Saint Germain and I applied that all over my lips and I knew it was gonna be too like baby doll pink so I got my girl about town lipstick by Mac and a lip brush by real techniques and I just kind of brushed that all over my lips to give it a little bit more of that fuchsia color and I topped it off with my MAC cream sheen glass and loud and lovely and this is the finished look you guys I really hope that you enjoyed this video make sure to go check out my friend Lacey Nicole her video is right there you can click it and go watch you're going to love her she's amazing at makeup give this video a big thumbs up have an awesome day I'll see you guys next time bye